Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review. A pretty cool little item which you have in front of you is the Ruger Black Hockey Elite. This is a brake barrel design air rifle put out by Ruger. Really nicely designed. I gotta say, um, first off, I, I like the gun. It's just, just really a great gun. Ruger's a great company. They make really cool products. This is my first air rifle put out by Ruger that I've purchased and I gotta say it's a, it's a nice purchase. Now, came in at just at $100 and for the price, you can't beat it. Um, this is a 177 cal pallet rifle, brake barrel design, has a spring piston inside of it. Um, it is a little bit noisy, and for that, you know, it's one of those things. If you're shooting in the backyard, you want to be aware of what's around you and who's around you, just in case you don't want to draw a lot of attention to yourself shooting in the backyard. Um, it does have a little pop to it. Not a lot of uh, noise, but there is a little bit of uh, sound when you pull the trigger. The trigger itself is pretty decent. Not too bad. No problems. No issues. The scope that they give you is actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. When I put it on the rifle, it was very easy to zero. Actually, uh, I only had to adjust for right and left. Uh, I was shooting at a maximum of about 40 yards at the most, um, but between 30 and 40 yards. So with that said uh, you have a really nice scope it sits on the top of the rifle the overall fit and feel of the gun is really nice you have a decent little buttstock here with a little ruger emblem on the bottom the cheek rest is okay i did have an issue with the uh, safety and just because it sits on the back end and the scope sits so low uh, putting my hand in there to engage or you know to operate the safety was a little bit of a problem not a big problem but a little bit the um, you know but you know it's one of those things too where uh, maybe uh, when you set up the rifle you're not going to have the scope sitting as far back as I do now the grip feels really good in hand it's really rounded and it uh, doesn't have any problems with it I mean it feels okay it looks a little different but it works really great the plastic that they use on the uh, on the, the actual rifle is I want to say it's very durable it feels really good and solid uh, doesn't feel like it's gonna flex at all or bend um, it feels really really definitely really solid in hand there is a lot of weight to the gun I noticed that it does weigh a little bit more than some other air rifles that are in the same size and price range but uh, it's pretty sturdy and pretty stout to charge the weapon you pull down on the barrel and the best way to do it is by grabbing the end uh, this fake suppressor it's just cosmetic but it's a really easy thing to grab and then go ahead and break down the gun by uh, cracking the barrel and then charging the weapon putting the pallet in the um, to do that actually it isn't really bad either uh, some other guns have a lot more harder springs in there that you know when you first go to to uh, charge the weapon you're actually like I almost have to put a knee <laughs> on the uh, on the gun and then pull it really hard but this wasn't that bad it was actually pretty good and it's loosened up um, over some usage so it's pretty fairly decent decent to pump now I haven't had any problems with it like I said it has a lot of velocity behind it on the box it's rated at a hundred and or one thousand 200 feet per second with the uh, the pallets firing they definitely have some really good power behind them they can go through a, uh, a can actually that was a can of spaghetti sauce and it went through the actual can uh, and it was full too it was an, un an unopened can went through the can and then through the back target and then through the fence um, and the uh, the picket fence behind that so it definitely has a lot of velocity that it puts out the pallets so you really want to be aware of your backdrop and what's behind it when you're shooting um, just to be safe now for me I've been shooting this in the backyard and I really like it a lot you could definitely take some small game with it some birds or uh, rabbits uh, probably even something as large as maybe a, a raccoon or something but you definitely want to be aware of shot placement when you're hunting uh, take the animal in the right spot you know don't make it suffer or anything like that and try to be as humane as you can now 
with all that said, you have a really great rifle at a reasonable price. Um, Ruger just does a great job on it. The uh, the fit and feel is is really good, and the uh, construction is great. You know, it's just a really cool little rifle. So, thanks for watching the video. Any other questions? Feel free to ask. If you can, please uh, subscribe to the channel. If you already are subscribed, I thank you so much. And I also thank the people who've been uh, sharing my videos on social media. It's a really great help, and I thank you so much uh, to all of you guys. So. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. Stay tuned for another video to come, and I'll definitely talk to you soon. Be safe.